How's it going, y'all? Right now, I am in the very cute, uh, historic, very near and dear to my heart, downtown Elk River, Minnesota. My grandparents actually uh, lived on Big Lake in Elk River. I think it was technically Elk River Township when I was growing up. So this like little downtown was always this area we passed and we would come through, whatever. So cute. Anyhow, today's video is a virtual tour on Elk River, Minnesota. Let's just dive in right now. y'all my name is jesse lynch and i run the hardest working real estate team in the game we're called to the twin cities and you can check out our website to the twin cities.com but this youtube channel it's all about helping you find a place to call home a place to land here in the beautiful twin cities of minnesota sorry i'm looking down so much that's just you know it's, i don't want to fall and that's whether you're buying a house for the first time or relocating here from a different city state country planet dimension universe whatever it is first time home buyers and relocations that's what we do that's what we focus on and that's what we do better than anybody else so if either of those things sound at all appealing to you then do me a favor do yourself a favor do the rest of the team a favor subscribe to this channel and click the bell so you can get notified every time we put out these videos and while i have you here if you wouldn't mind give the video a thumbs up say something helpful nice funny talk about how my hair looks dumb right now in the comments and i appreciate that very much it's helpful not just to this channel not just to you know the real estate team but to other people like yourselves who are looking for this kind of information specifically the best videos anywhere on the internet about what it's like to live in the twin cities and of course as always if you are thinking about moving here or if you already move here and you're trying to buy a house here i mean go down the rabbit hole if you haven't yet You'll see, we we work hard. We do a lot of videos. We stay consistent and really just try to be so helpful to people, even the people who end up not working with us, all good. But reach out to us. I think you'll be glad you did. <laughs> Truly, we will work our butts off. You can go to our website, to thetwincities.com. We have a contact form there that you can fill out in like 30 seconds or less, or <laughs> you can shoot us an email at info at to thetwincities.com. They lead to the same inbox, so it's completely up to you how you do it. We just ask that you do and look forward to it. It's fall in Minnesota. It's a particularly brisk day today too, to be honest. I I'm rarely cold, especially in the fall. And uh, I'm a little cold right now, but it's all good. We will get through it. I will not break my ankle, I hope. Right here, this is the Mississippi River. Right over there, that's the town of Elk River. Mississippi River, Elk River. And again, there's something very near and dear to my heart about Elk River. I'm excited to share it with you. It's just me today, the whole team is pretty busy, pretty rocking, just absolutely crushing it for our clients. So thanks to them. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy this video. I am uh, <laughs> gonna go get a little bit warm, enjoy. y'all first of all the trees are beautiful second i just wanted to start in this neighborhood it's basically uh one of the newer i guess middle newer neighborhoods there are brand new neighborhoods very very close to here these ones are a little bit more established than those in the last maybe 20 or so years these have been built but the trees as you can see are becoming more mature um, and just over there i think we'll go to some of these new builds as well in this video to just see you know what's going on there similar housing styles just more updated and then naturally the trees are you know, brand new, <laughs> planted not that long ago at all. And Elk River, like I said, my grandparents lived here when I was growing up. And at the time it was like pretty rural. It was pretty far away from the rest of the Metro. That said, it's fundamentally 
attached now, and it is technically part of the Metro. We get a lot of people <laughs> on my TikTok channel who they're like, this is the Metro. It's the same conversation that Nick and I have all the time, but it is technically the Metro. Is it very metropolitan and cosmopolitan? No, it's super suburban and fairly far out, but nonetheless, technically part of the MSP Metro. But it's right on the edge. To the north is totally rural, right? To the east, pretty rural. It's a town called Now Then, um, and basically just rural township. To the southeast though, you have Ramsey and Dayton, which are both, I would say, respectively, in the Twin Cities Metro. To the south, you have Otsego. Uh, so if you ever see that word on a map, you're like, what is that? It's Otsego, not Otsego, or <laughs> something like that. And then to the west, you have Big Lake Township and Bailey. So fairly rural all the way around, but connected really by, I would say, Ramsey and Otsego, and Dayton, I suppose. Uh, more than anything else. You're 45 minutes from here to the airport, right? That's pretty far. That's a good argument that it's not in the metro, but you know, again, it's right on the edge. So yeah, 45 minutes to the airport, you're maybe 40 minutes to Minneapolis, downtown Minneapolis, and honestly, probably 40 minutes to downtown St. Paul as well, because you can kind of go around uh, on the northern end to get to St. Paul, even though it's clearly in the Northwest, just takes a little bit longer to get to downtown St. Paul. It's a pretty small uh, population at around 27,000 and it's growing, but not super fast. We did uh, like St. Michael and Elbertville. Those are growing extremely fast, not Elk River. Elk River is a slow, st steady one to 2% growth, um, annual growth in the last uh, decade. It's technically the uh, second largest city, even though it's ah, even though it's part of the metro, God, it's getting windy. Even though it's part of the metro, it's technically the second largest city, town, whatever, in central Minnesota. There's St. Cloud is the most uh, populated and then Elk River. So again, a little bit convoluted, but that is that's statistically the facts. The schools here are pretty good, but not outstanding. Um, it, you, you're gonna have higher rated schools in St. Michael, Albertville, um, probably because of the growth and more money going in and that they're a little bit closer in, a little more accessible than here. You have Elk River Senior High that gets a B plus, this is all according to niche.com, that gets a B plus that serves all of Elk River. And then middle school is generally pretty good. You have Sock Middle School, that gets an A minus, and then you have Vandenberg Middle School, that gets a B plus. Elementary schools, pretty big range from pretty much lower Bs all the way up to an A. But I think a, a, some of the reason that people are drawn to this area is the affordability and sort of the combination of all of those lifestyle uh, elements. A lot of people want sort of the rural but small town, cozy, you know, feel safe. Statistically, that's a totally different thing. It, I mean, statistically, it is relatively safe here. But again, the idea of like, you're kind of out there, it's quiet, it's a little slower moving. So people want that, but they still want access to uh, the good the good schools and decent access to the city. You know, these people aren't necessarily going to events in downtown Minneapolis all that often. I'm sure some of them are, but I think in general, like the idea is that's not the whole point of the lifestyle here. Median sale price is 370,000 or thereabouts, which is just slightly more than the Twin Cities Metro, uh, but you get more house here, right? These houses are, well, these houses start from maybe 400 up, but for around 400, you're gonna get a little more house here than if you were closer into the Metro. You're gonna get a newer house and probably a bigger house, probably a bigger yard. But let's save some of this, talk about it in the pros and cons in just a moment. Let's go for a drive. I'll show you around a little bit. Okay.
right now. I'm at Orono Park, right on Orono Lake. And this is not Orono as in Orono, Minnesota. This is Elk River still. Um, and this is a really beautiful park, kind of right in sort of the, I don't know, like the government center of the city. Like the police station is over there. I believe City Hall, there's a YMCA. It's kind of like a, there's like a density of that type of thing right here. Um, but a really nice park, very, very new uh, sort of infrastructure. It's on the lake. There's a, it's way too cold for this to be running. It's kind of like, what do they call it? A splash pad. There's also a very nice baseball field over there. And there are volleyball courts, uh, public restrooms, it's already set, I don't know. And a beach. Um, but I guess we're gonna get in pros and cons. It is pretty close to the highway, but also very, very convenient. So, you know, take what you can get. But all right, pros and cons, let's get into them. Um, First one, good schools, right? Generally pretty good schools. Um, second one, and I think this sort of ties into that, is that it's relatively affordable for the Twin Cities. It's a little more than the median, which, you know, is so, so technically it's a little more expensive, but you get a lot of house here for your money compared to other you know suburbs third pro for me is that you have really beautiful very well capped outdoor spaces public outdoor spaces um so like that i mean this is really really nice so this maybe is a pro for most people but there's a lot of just open space uh right here where i am this is kind of where it's most dense which is funny because it's not that dense but as you get further north it gets quite open quite slow turns into what i think used to be elk river town or Big Lake Township, I don't remember, um, pretty quickly. And then that gets very chill, very open and borderline rural, which actually I think brings me to the next pro, which for me is that there's a potential for a sort of like small town, cute downtown, old, you know, whatever, small town <laughs> lifestyle. Or there's also suburban lifestyle here and there's also rural lifestyle. So. You, if you like the idea of living here, you could kind of have your pick for what you want uh, in terms of lifestyle. And I think on that same note, the next pro is that you have a fairly diverse housing stock. Maybe that's obvious with all of that variety, but yeah, you have older, more modest homes, uh, probably as early as like the 20s, maybe here. Um, and then newer and newer, all the way up to brand new. It's been such a slow growth I think for Elk River, because it's fairly outside the metro, that it's not super homogenous where everything looks identical. It's actually a nice variety of homes. These uh, lakefront homes on this Orono Lake, pretty sweet. And there's some really, really crazy, beautiful riverfront homes as well. Pro number five, six, don't remember where I'm at. Lost count, cool, uh, <laughs> is that you have a lot of suburban amenities. You have like way more than I think I expected because they didn't used to have this many when I came up here all the time. They had the small downtown and that was kind of it. But there are a lot of suburban amenities. There's a Starbucks, there's a, a Home Depot. I don't know, I believe there's a Target, a Walmart, uh, grocery stores, tons of that stuff. And then the last pro that I can think of is you're almost, if not already, up north if you're here. You're super close to kind of cabin country, right? You're relatively about as close as you can get in the metro to say Lake Mille Lacs, which is like a highly regarded sort of fishing lake, you know? So you kind of have that up north feel here. You know, there's uh, pine trees, not everywhere, but there is some kind of moments of that where it feels like you're up north in the woods. It's nice. Okay, but then what are cons? Obviously, if you if you feel like you're up north, that's because you're far away from the cities. We have like an over under 30 minutes from downtown Mini or one of the, really one of those cities is what we call far out, <laughs> you know, a ways away from the city. So it's for sure a ways out. It's 40-ish minutes to Minneapolis. So that's pretty far, all things considered. I also think a lot of your, I don't know, not really errands, but like your random shopping events, right? So if you have to go to a mall, you're not really gonna have one here. So a lot of that, I don't know, shopping is going to be elsewhere and closest thing where you might find it here, I don't know. It, it might be something like Maple Grove or something like that. 
And really the rest of these cons are, are largely associated just with where it is and how far out of the metro it is. So the next one is what I call echoes of a rural past. And I would say it's hardly even an echo. It's pretty much currently happening. It's still pretty rural, but even in some of the, you know, newer developments, you're gonna like on the way there, you might pass the occasional, you know, farmhouse that is just not kept up to the standards of what people expect out of a suburb, right? There's kind of used to be rural and now some of that still exists. And next con, it's just probably just is too rural for some people. Some people would look at this and be like, what do you mean? What do you mean kind of rural? This is rural. And I would say, yeah, you're, you're, you're not totally wrong. It's quite rural at times, but it is in the Metro. Obviously I said all that so far. And then finally, again, probably obvious, it's the end of the road. Any further North, you're completely rural. There's nowhere to have any conveniences really to the north and to the west. If you start heading northwest, it's like you're just, you know, waiting until you get to St. Cloud. So that's all I got for pros and cons though. I think sands, the location being far out, it's pretty sweet. And then I'm gonna pop over somewhere else. I'm gonna talk through other locations to consider if you like what you're seeing here. And uh, yeah. I'm cold, but I kind of kind of love it right now. y'all right now i'm at woodland trails park this is a very very nice and very large park in the city of elk river there are tons of trails also it is snowing a little bit right now i don't know if you can see it but it is definitely snowing a little bit right now um hey it's all good don't think it'll stick so yeah that's the important part okay you know, if you watch these videos, we have a section that I like to call the four fans of section, as in back in the days with CDs or tapes, when it'd be like, if you like Nirvana, check out Pearl Jam. Uh, leave a comment below if you hate that, uh, <laughs> that, that comparison. But before I get into that section, I would like to just say, if you are thinking about moving here, if you already live here and you're trying to buy a house, you know, this is what we do. <laughs> this is what we do better than anybody else. So if, you know, if you need help with either, you know, relocating or just buying a house, that's what we do. That's what we do better than anybody else. So get a hold of us. You can go to our website, to the twin We have a contact form there that you can fill out in like 30 seconds, or you can shoot us an email directly to info at to the twin cities.com. They'll lead to the same inbox. So it's all good up to you how you do it. Look how neat this like, little situation is it's quite adorable also shout out to the trees it's quite quite lovely here even if it is snowing a little bit okay let's dive in to the four fans of usually i, I only do like five different spots but i'm gonna do like five clumps <laughs> of places there's a critter over there but so like five different like okay if you want this kind of uh experience in this part of the metro this part of the metro this part of the metro here are a bunch to consider okay so right nearby if you're like i love the idea of living really close to here and the surrounding area sounds good to me cool basically otsego which is just to the south very very similar your lifestyle would be extremely similar and then there's monticello to the uh west monticello pretty similar a uh, little closer to i-94 i guess and then also buffalo comes to mind as kind of having a lot of similarities maybe buffalo out of all those has kind of a cute downtown uh on a lake more than any of the other ones so buffalo could absolutely be worth considering next i'm going to move a little bit further east to just basically just straight north of the Twin Cities Metro, which is basically Lino Lakes, Hugo, and then even a little further north than those is Forest Lake. Then now a little bit 
south of here. We did videos on kind of all three of these in one clump. They have a lot of similarities. It is St. Michael, Albertville, and Rogers. They really have a lot in common and they are all in their own right. Very, very nice places to live. Then to the south of the Metro, I'm gonna go southwest of the Metro and Prior Lake and then Elko Newmarket are the two that come to mind the most and that would feel most like this. Special shout out to Northfield. It's a different vibe a little bit. Really cool, cute downtown, but it's it just feels a little bit different. So similar distance, but check out that video. Eh, it's, it's a little too different in my opinion from here. So then kind of the Southeast, maybe Rosemount. Um, Rosemount has kind of a, a, a borderline rural feel while still being in the Metro. And then naturally Hastings. We did a video on Hastings pretty recently. So I would definitely consider Hastings. Hastings, much like Elk River, has that sort of like, is it really in the Metro kind of experience? Um, so for that reason, I'm going to include Hastings, but that's all I got. This park is awesome, by the way. There's uh, like a bow shooting range right over here. Obviously this uh, pergola, pagoda, I don't know. I don't know what you call that. And it's all very nice. All the infrastructure here is like, feels like it's brand new and such a beautiful sort of forested area. The trails go on and on and on, but I ain't got time for that. All right, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so yet, what are you doing? Subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified so you can see when we put out these videos and give the video a thumbs up, say something nice or helpful or funny, or again, talk about how my hair does dumb stuff when I'm looking right into the wind. All right, y'all. See you guys later. Bye-bye.